gotta get myself i just gotta look at it girl i just gotta look at how cute she is today honey yes ma'am brows on fleekity fleek lashes are like perfect for my eye look christian louboutin on the eyes yes madame come on lamar let her know what you're talking about Ooh, child. Face cost a fortune. What's up, JBs? It's Vicky J. And welcome back, or welcome to my channel. So if you're new to my channel, I call my subscribers JBays. And the way that you can become a JBay is by clicking the red subscriber button, and it will turn from red to gray, and that makes you a JBay. That's how you remember. Red plus gray equals JBay. And JBays are the best bays in YouTube because they're my bays who tune in whenever I upload to chit chat and all that. More specifically on Sundays when I do my live Get Ready With Me's where we get all of the chit-chatting and all thatting together. <laughs> if this is your first time here, I do luxury beauty. I do reviews and Get Ready With Me's primarily. So I'm not your tutorial girl. I'm not going to teach you things, but I am going to talk to you about the new products that are coming out and whether or not they are brown girl friendly. Today's video is going to be major key. I'm talking about my top 10 current because we're gonna be updating this over time, of course. Current luxury foundation favorites. This is my top 10. So I do have more than that, but these are the ones that I reach for, for very specific things throughout the year. And I will explain to you why I love them and what my color is in case you are a shade twin. Something to note, I am for undertone, a golden neutral. That means that I lean more I have, you know, green veins and all of that, but my face is actually darker than my chest. And so, and my hands are a little bit in between what they normally are between the winter and the summertime. In the wintertime, I am more golden. And in the summertime, when I tan, I am actually a little bit redder. So I have the ability to go in both directions. So I try to stay in the middle so that throughout the year, my complexion matches up. But my main focus is matching my chest because it is the next, you know, thing closest to my face. So <laughs> rather than matching my face, because then it'll be too dark, I go ahead and I match my chest. With all that said, of course, I'll leave that information in the description box for you, along with the links to these products I'm about to show you. I do want to let you know that those links will be affiliate links, and I do get a small commission if you shop through my link. So if you would prefer not to, that's totally okay, but I wanna give you full disclosure that I do get a small commission if you do click through my link in the description box. Let's get into this top 10. This is going from my least favorite to my absolute favorite. And I gotta just tell you, just cause it's the least favorite doesn't mean it's not absolutely fantastic. I don't keep anything I don't like. I don't bother with anything I don't like. So everything I'm showing you is good. And I will explain why it ranks where it ranks, but just know they're bomb.com, every last one of them. Number 10 is Dior Forever Foundation. This is the, um, not the one that just came out. I believe the one that came out is more like, you know, glowy and radiant. This one is matte. And I mean like extremely matte. And the shade that I have in this foundation is 6N or 060. It's a 24 hour wear, high perfection skin caring foundation with sunscreen and the SPF is 35. This is um, truly an all day foundation. Now I chose six neutral because in the Dior Forever concealers, I chose five neutral and four neutral when I just should have went with four and a half. So if you are my shade, don't bother getting two of those $36 concealers, y'all. Just get 4.5. <laughs> don't be like me in that regard. I really love, I love this, but I will say I am 35 now and I'm starting to prefer, with my skin also changing from oily to combo, I'm starting to prefer a more natural finish and this finish is definitely matte. Not casket ready, but but it's matte, you know? Um, so you do have to, you know, go in with your sprays and, and you have to, um, and you don't have to set it. I do want to make a note of that. But if you are going to put a powder on top of it, I would recommend a luminous powder or a powder with a little, you know, hydration like the By Terry or the Carolina Herrera press powder. 
There's not too much to say about it. It's fantastic. It lasts all day. It plays well with um, pretty much all of my makeup. I haven't had a problem with it uh, blending out with any other products. Um, when I'm choosing a concealer, I tend to go based off the consistency of my foundation. So I actually prefer the Hourglass Concealer over the Dior Concealer for this foundation because it's it's thick and it, set, it self sets and you can, um, you know, you can uh, just go about your day. It, it eliminates an extra step. And if you're trying to get ready in a hurry and you're oily, this, this is the girl. She's cute. And now I'm gonna go in the extreme opposite direction with number nine. Number nine is Dolce & Gabbana. I purchased this from Harrods after hearing that mother herself was behind the creation of Dolce & Gabbana Beauty. I said, oh, well then, let me go and grab that right there. I took a guess on my shade because obviously I can't fly to the UK and swatch, right? Um, so I did take a guess based on um, the very little reviews I could find on this. And I'm just gonna give you the full name real quick. It's called Glorious Skin, Perfect Luminous Creamy Foundation with SPF 20. And the shade that I chose that actually is a perfect match is 430 Sable. This is a glass jar, this gorgeous gold um, gold filigree packaging, uh, Dolce & Gabbana on the center. It also comes with a uh, sort of skincare scooper. I don't use it, it's, it's mine. I make sure my hands are clean before I touch my face for makeup anyway. So I don't really bother, but you know, for those of you who are really about that, I think that's great. But um, if you're shopping Harrods, and this is exclusive to Harrods um, at the moment, when you're shopping Harrods, um, their international shipping is a flat rate of $30 for the United States. So if you're going to purchase from Harrods, make sh make it count. You know, you don't want to just grab one thing because you are paying $30 no matter how many things you get. So, you know, it's they've got a lot of great luxury products. They do, they're a luxury department store. They do specialize in luxury beauty. They have a whole division for it. So definitely check out what else they have that isn't available in the States. This foundation is very radiant and um, perfect for dry skin. So if you are um, someone with mature skin or dry skin, this actually does um, go on like skincare and it is a light to medium light finish. Uh, I'm sorry, coverage, light to medium light coverage. Now I'm somebody who battles with hyperpigmentation and acne scarring and I am wearing this today. You might be asking yourself how the heck I did all this, right? I, when I reach for this, I know that I'm going to need additional coverage in my setting powder. And that's how I go about it. So I put on a full layer of it, just one complete layer. And then I will go over just my deep, uh, my sort of hyperpigmented areas real quick and just go for the medium light coverage. You know, I'm not trying to make it do something it doesn't do. Then I will go in with uh, more full coverage or, you know, a, a powder that has coverage. So that could be Laura Mercier's uh, medium deep powder, uh, Pat McGrath's loose powders, which I did use today. Um, on the uh, center of my face, I used medium number three. And then um, I also have Fenty's loose powder in the shade Cashew, which is what I used all over the rest of my face. And then voila, you don't have to do like, it, it can, it, it will get there. You don't have to rely necessarily on your foundation to do all of the coverage because sometimes that can lead to cake face. So you want to, you know, just keep in mind, you know, rely on, add some concealer. You know, I did a little uh, fake reverse contouring with my uh, concealer that I used today, which was Dior and just spot treated certain areas with that because I love the finish. I love the finish. And after I have powdered with my combo um, skin type, after I've powdered, in the areas where I would get oily and set everything and then spray it down. You know, once you finish the whole look, it really comes together. And this will last me about five hours before I have to just real quick touch up right in this area where I'm most oily. And that's fine by me. I understand that's what it is. I love this. It has skincare in it as well. The consistency is beautiful and light. I swear to you, you will you will forget you're wearing it, even with the powder on. So for me, it's worth it. And I used to be somebody who was afraid to try 
luminous or radiant foundations because of my combo oily complexion. And in my 20s, it was just straight oily. But now this is, this is really awesome. But it does rank at number nine because I do have to like add and add to it and kind of take a little extra time in order to uh, get the desired result. So it's, again, not a bad foundation. It's a fantastic foundation, but you do have to kind of plan ahead, basically, if you want to wear this. Now, that's if you're somebody like me who has hyperpigmentation, acne scarring, and, you know, uneven skin. If you're somebody who has relatively nice skin, this is fantastic. Like, this is the GOAT. Especially if you're dry, this is amazing. You probably won't even have to set your face. So something to consider for my dry J-Bays out there who have, you know, the skin game on lock. <laughs> this is going to be an incredible um, foundation to try. And it does have a nice amount of shades for a luxury brand that is not, you know not Lancome, you know, like their mission wasn't to focus on beauty. My shade is the second to deepest shade, which is normal, you know, given, you know, when I started my luxury beauty journey, that was the norm. So I do feel like maybe at some point Dolce & Gabbana will expand the range, but for now I am the second to deepest shade. Um, in case you're wondering. So another foundation that was bay for the longest until I decided that I didn't um, want to do as much mattifying for my um, for my foundation finish was Hourglass Vanish Liquid Foundation. This is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. It is very full coverage, but not spackle. We're not, this isn't Kat Von D's tattoo uh, foundation, <laughs> but it will give you full coverage if you're somebody who suffers from acne scarring like myself. I started off with Hourglass's, um, what was that foundation? Oh my goodness. It was a like an ultra matte foundation. It came in a silver cylindrical container, kind of like this, kind of like this one here, but it was silver. And that foundation happened before Vanish happened. Once the Vanish Foundation Sticks came out, I tried those, I really liked them, but I felt like I needed something that would set at some point because I found that the sticks did not set. You Even if you set it with a setting powder, it didn't set. It would still like move a little bit. And so when they came out with the liquid, I said, oh yeah, that's the girl. So I went ahead and I sampled it. I sampled a couple of shades because I was originally chestnut, but this one is sable and this one is a perfect match. It has just enough color correcting in the formula to just give you a flawless airbrushed finish. I mean, it is just fantastic. And the full name of the foundation is Vanish Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation. And this is by Hourglass. It has like the little, the shape that um, goes with the Vanish line. And um, I mean, they have this throughout their range at this point, this sort of, I don't even know what you would call this shape, but um I love their um, packaging. I love the wear time of this because it doesn't say it here, but it has a very nice wear time. Definitely over eight hours. Um, you're not gonna get like it breaking up or anything like that. I use, a little goes a long way if you're somebody who doesn't have skin issues, but two pumps is what I use and that is enough to get my entire face done flawlessly, including my chin. If you are interested in full coverage and matte foundation, then I would highly recommend this one. I think this one is beautiful and the range on this is fantastic. I am probably fourth or fifth before the deeper, deepest shade. Uh, my good my good sis Fumi de Saluvold is one of the deepest shades in this range. So if you are her shade twin, then you can absolutely check this foundation out and there will most likely be a match for you. All righty. Next up, this is such a pretty foundation, y'all, and a pretty package, okay? Guerlain L'Essentiel Natural Glow Foundation 16-Hour Wear with Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 20. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. And I know it didn't rank top five, but that doesn't mean, again, that does not mean this isn't a good foundation. This is a beautiful foundation. The only reason it doesn't make it into my top five is because... <sighs> 
it wears for 16 hours, but it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't claim to, but I find that I get a little bit of oil peeking through by about the eight hour mark. And that's just with a regular work day. I have a sit down job at an office and, you know, I'm just talking, <laughs> I'm just talking, you know, but I will still have like oil production uh, showing through even on like my cheek area, like right about here. And so for me, that's, ugh, it's not enough. That doesn't, I mean, if you want to touch up, absolutely go right on ahead and touch up, but I prefer not to. So if I don't have to, then, you know, obviously that one's going to rank higher. The shade that I'm in for this one is 055W. It's warm, but it's not, it's warm neutral. It's not overly golden. So I love that. And they do have within that range of 055, they have cool neutral warm. And for each shade, they have cool neutral warm. So if you're my shade twin, but you run a little more golden or a little more cool or whatever, you can, and then I do believe they have a cool as well. You can go right ahead and still get 055, just get the correct letter after your 055 shade. This one, I obviously liked enough to purchase. So it is a really beautiful foundation. It has a very natural finish. It looks like skin. It has the perfect amount of luminosity, but not radiant, not overly uh, glowy. And, you know, I mean, look at that shade. It's just so scrumptious. I I don't even know what else to say. <laughs> it's a beautiful foundation. I just, just want you to be aware that you will have to uh, touch up if you are combo oily like myself. And so last up before we hit the top five, is Chantecai Future Skin. This one is the Oil Free Gel Foundation and it comes in this beautiful little jar. This one does not come with a skincare scoop, but that's okay. Doesn't really bother me any. Um, and if you, you know, just hit up Amazon, you can get a whole bunch of them. You can get a bag of them. <laughs> so, uh, this shade is Suntan, which is actually my shade. Initially, I couldn't test this out, so I purchased the deeper shade, which is Carob, and it works just fine but this one is a more exact match. So again, if you're my shade twin, uh, go with suntan instead of carob. If you're slightly cooler than I am, then go for the carob and I'll show it to you. This is carob, this is suntan. So there's the, the difference. Future Skin is very lightweight. Like it says, it's oil free. So if you are someone who is thinking that it's going to leave you as a grease ball. It does not. Future Skin implies that it is going to be skin-like. It gives you a very similar finish to the Guerlain, but I find that it lasts longer without producing oil. So that's why it edged out L'Essential in this particular ranking. So I definitely encourage you to try it. You can find it on a lot of different retailers. Um, I purchased mine from Saks, but you can find it on Nordstrom, I believe, as well as um, Neiman's. Next up is a recommendation from the fabulous Kelsey Brianna J. I watched her ranking video, and let me tell y'all something. I'm gonna link it right here. Y'all go and watch this video because she ranked all the foundations that she tried in 2019. You will learn so much from that video. Please, please do yourself a favor and watch that video. If you love luxury foundations and you're trying to collect, definitely, definitely check her out. This one was in her top five, if I'm not mistaken. And I said, ooh wee, I have to try it. And I am over the moon. This is a fantastic foundation. It does have a matte finish and it does last all gosh darn day. It is called Chanel Ultra Latin Haute Tenue Ultra, oh gosh, I'm not gonna bother reading this in French. Give me one second here. <laughs> <laughs> ultra Latente, Ultra Wear All Day Comfort Flawless Finish Foundation. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> the shade that I am is BD131. Now again, because I could not sample this, I did end up purchasing on the side of caution and went with the darker shade, which was BD141, which was not, not even close. <laughs> Let me show you guys the difference here. Here they are. And you know, frosted bottles tend to show the shade a little lighter than it is. So this one is significantly deeper to the point where I would recommend that, um, I wouldn't recommend you move in any particular direction. If you're my shade twin, this is the one you want. 
period. Perfect match here, 131. This is 141. So if you are deeper than myself, I actually am considering selling this because I don't think I'm even get this deep because I mean, we're in quarantine. I'm not going outside that much. So I don't even think I'm going to tan. I don't want to waste this. So I might go ahead and sell it. Look out for this on my Mercari. It has all day wear and this is a matte finish that is not overly matte. It is almost a natural matte if there is such a thing where like if you want to, you can put on a hydrating powder on top or you can just not set it. I think this, you don't even need to set. And I've done it both ways where I have set it or set it with a luminous powder like the Carolina Herrera or the um, by Terry Hyaluronic powder. And I've done it where I did not set it at all. And it looked beautiful either way. The consistency, like it's, it's full on coverage. Oh my God. It's basically an upgrade from Vanish in my opinion. It's an upgrade from Vanish and it's a little more hydrating than Dior. So that's kind of the in-between comparison there. And um, I've, I've been reaching for this a lot. I just feel like it's gorgeous. And obviously I trust Kelsey and she delivered. I mean, I jumped on Saks without hesitation. I do believe I bought this from Saks without hesitation and copped it. And I'm so glad I did. I And I loved it so much knowing that I couldn't return the, the wrong shade that I just went ahead and bought it again. <laughs> so that should tell you something. Definitely check this one out. Next up is one that I just do not hear a lot about and I wanted to hit y'all on it. It's from Givenchy. And it is called Tante Couture Everwear 24 wear, wear, 24 hour wear, satin finish, full coverage and comfort. Ooh wee, this is so beautiful. So, so beautiful. Gorgeous natural finish, full coverage, but it's medium and then it's buildable to full. So you, you know, upon initial application, if, it, if you don't like full coverage, you can still rock this. And it sets down to a natural finish, as they mentioned. It doesn't transfer, but you can go ahead and set it with a light powder if you, you know, just for a little extra insurance. Also, this packaging is so chic. I love it. With the Givenchy logo on top, I mean, good grief. This is so cute. And I had said to myself, oh my goodness, okay, well, who don't I have on my list of, you know, on my roster, basically, on my foundation roster? And there are a few. I'm actually looking to get some Burberry. And uh, Givenchy was one of them. I really didn't look at the counter that much. I didn't pay a lot of attention to it. But I do have to say I love their lipsticks. So I wanted to give the foundation a try. I wanted to see what they were doing and what their range was like. This is Y400. So it is. it does lead more yellow, but it does kind of settle down and it doesn't look off. This is a very good match for me. Um, let me see if I can compare it to any of the other ones that I'm looking at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this one here and then um, some other ones that I'm going to show you. But as far as like a really good comparison... I would put these two, you know, this is a frosted glass, so take that into consideration here. I think these two are a really great match together. Um, I also think Le Tante from Chanel also looks really close as well. Again, frosted bottle, so, you know, just imagine. So yeah, I feel like it's just right in line with all of those. It does say it's more golden, so keep that in mind. If you are somebody who leans more neutral, this is obviously not going to work for you. But they do have a range that can complement most skin tones. I wouldn't say all, and I wouldn't say they have this gigantic range, but they do have a good enough range to where it's worth trying out. So I wanted to bring it to your attention and see if you, you know, might be interested in trying Givenchy Foundation. It's gorgeous. I mean, it's literally perfect. It's reasonably priced for a luxury foundation. So I think that you should definitely check it out. And now we are in the top three. And some of the girls going to be a little upset. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's all right with me because we all have different needs for our foundation. Um, but I'm holding in my hand the most expensive foundation I own. And it's not the number one foundation for me. It is Tom Ford. <laughs> it is Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Soft Radiant Foundation Broad Spectrum SPF 50 in the shade 10.5 Mocha. This is so freaking gorgeous. I do want to say that. It's amazing. It's, it, and, it, and it took me a while. 
I, it had to grow on me. You know, it was like an arranged marriage. <laughs> just had to learn to love her because I bought her from Tom Ford Direct and you can't return. <laughs> so I had to learn to love her. The first time I put her on, I said, mm, okay, this is 150. Mm. <laughs> and then, and I did it without anything else on. Like I didn't prep my skin or anything. And then I turned around and said, let me try this out the way that I normally do my makeup. So I did. And then I liked it. I said, okay, this is cute. But I wasn't in love with it yet, you know? So after a couple more times of wearing it and kind of getting into the groove of what works best, I started to really love it. And I was like, oh, okay. So so she's cute. Like, she's actually, like, really nice. Okay, I actually love her. <laughs> so it took about maybe, let me see, it took me about, like, five wears to go, oh, okay, she's a goat. All right. All right, girl. <laughs> I'm with it. And so now I'm sold. I really love it. I recommend it to anyone, really. I think this is great for all skin types. Uh, this glass bottle with the, like, come on. You know Tom Ford does luxury, right, baby? This is a bomb display worthy packaging right here. And I honestly feel like the, um, the, did you see that? One more time, there you go. Magnetic. This bad boy. <laughs> I don't even know. Like I'm just I'm doing things and I'm hoping that you understand where I'm coming from with this body language because it's a very nice foundation. It's so lightweight. It's medium coverage. You I don't think you get full out of this, but again, just a little powder, a little this, a little that, and you will get full coverage because I achieve a very similar look to what I'm wearing today with this foundation, but with less effort than the, the Dolce and Gabbana. Hope that makes sense. This is a soft radiant foundation. So it is giving you some luminosity, but it's not at all going to give you like greasy or too radiant. So if you are somebody who is oily or combo oily, I highly advise you to obviously set with a matte foundation or to use, or I'm sorry, a matte powder or to use mattifying uh, primers in the areas where you're most oily. And that'll do it. That'll do it. it. It has skincare in it as well. So, you know, you're you're wearing it throughout the day. If you are somebody who has mature skin, it's going to really um, kind of boost your, your skincare that you already put down. And it has SPF 50. And I'm not saying that you can replace your SPF with it. I'm just saying, you know, it adds to it. And so your skin will end up looking a little bit better as time goes on. So I think the $150 price tag, I said I wasn't gonna mention prices, but we had to for this one, you know, exceptions. But for the price tag, I feel like it's worth it. It's worth it to me. Now, obviously everybody's different. Your priorities in terms of makeup are going to vary. But for me, I'm not, I'm not regretting my purchase. And it ranks high for me because it does a lot. It does a lot. And it's giving me an elevated look to my makeup. So, you know, it, it upgraded me. Number two goes to Mother. Oh, God, I love this so much. We have Pat McGrath Lab Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. And I am in the shade MD26. Now, she has a humongous range. For me, it, in my opinion, it's a big old range. I think there's 38 shades or something like that. So I'm literally nowhere near the deepest shade. The range is on point. Um, it has been perfected. So in the initial launch, it wasn't exactly where it needed to be. But at, as, as far as where we are right now, it's doing the damn thing. I bought this on launch. It worked perfectly for me. So thank you, mother. <laughs> you know, thank you very much. And I have since purchased the concealers because this foundation is actually light to light medium coverage, but it has, um, it sets down and is not transferable. You can layer powder on it very nicely. Obviously, you know, with the concealer there's a little more uh, coverage there. So you could spot treat as well. And you can actually just do a full face with Pat and still get the full coverage that you need. So take that into consideration. Um, but if you are somebody who has 
no real uh, issues with unevenness or hyperpigmentation, this alone is enough to get you through the day. You don't necessarily have to set it and it lasts for a very long time. Now she did not claim that this was going to be a 24 hour wear, honey. She didn't, but it does last a very long time. I have worn this to work several times and that's basically 10 hours because I would include the commute. This was obviously before what's going on right now. So you at least are gonna get 10 hours out of this and that's usually all you really need anyway. So for the wear time, for the um, blendability, whew, it's great. <laughs> what else can I tell you? This is a fantastic foundation and so many people swear by this foundation already. So if you don't know, now you know. And now we're at number one. When I first ventured into doing the luxury foundation wear tests, this foundation was the most expensive one. And I said to myself, girl, we're going to find a reason not to like this. Put it on. And I had a really long day. And I mean a really long day. I think I was out for at least 12 hours. And I didn't take the makeup off for like 14 hours. And it was perfect. What did I say? I'm going to have to cop it. And that is La Mer. La Mer, the Soft Fluid Longwear Foundation Broad Spectrum SPF 20. This is my holy grail. And I've said this before in another video. This is such a beautifully balanced foundation. It has a very nice range. I wouldn't say it's expansive, but... There are several shades after my own. I'm shade 460 Sienna. And there are, I want to say about maybe four shades after mine, which is cute. I mean, it's fine. Obviously, they can ext extend the range and hopefully they do over time. As it stands right now, glowing reviews. I don't know too many people who hate this. It might not be for them, but this is incredible. It has the broth in it, you know, the magic broth that they uh, put in all of their skincare. So you are getting skincare in this foundation. It is uh, medium to full coverage. And the finish is a soft matte. So it's not a natural finish necessarily, or like a soft radiant finish like Tom Ford, for example. But it's not matte. Like it's not giving you I need something to drink. It's so reliable, comfortable, just beautiful. It's just beautiful. People are going to compliment your skin when you're wearing this. I can't say enough good things about it. Like, I knew I had to have it. And I'm so glad I do. <laughs> like, I feel like everyone should feel the way I feel about Miss La Mer. Beautiful packaging, frosted bottle simplistic and still luxurious I like that most of these are giving you one fluid ounce um some might be giving you a little bit more but um overall these are all gorgeous foundations that are going to be great for anyone who is a shade twin or similar like a shade sister to me there's definitely a shade for you in the line and depending on the finish that you prefer, I'm sure I've covered the gamut. So now it is your turn to tell me out of my top 10, which ones you already have, which ones you're interested in, and which ones you just don't like. Absolutely comment in the comment section. Let's have a key. Let's have a chat. Let's, you know, discuss the luxury foundation of it all. And that's going to conclude this video. I want to thank you all for watching. And if you are new to the channel and you enjoyed this content, please let me know in the comment section and by subscribing. And my regulars who comment all the time, you know, I'll see you in the chat section. I will absolutely reply to every single um, comment that is left. Check out the description box for videos that are related to this one, as well as links to the products that I've discussed in this video and a list of the products that I'm currently wearing on my face. 
and that's going to do it, y'all. I'm going to get on out of here. Thank you so much for watching and tune in on Sunday at 1 p.m. for our live Get Ready With Me. My community uh, page is always popping. New releases, um, upcoming releases, sales, you name it. Looks of the day. So do check that out as well. And I'll see you on the internet, especially on the tube. <laughs> y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.